And welcome back to the Stormworks Weekly Update video. This is version 1.6.14, the physics sensor update. Dear Stormworkers, today we release the physics sensor minor update. This includes the new physics sensor, which is a new component giving composite logic output, including positional and rotational information. The data output is particularly useful for microcontroller designers who are interested in building their own gyros and other motion control systems, which should now be much easier and practical. The component is in response to player requests on the issue tracker, and we continue to enjoy hearing your thoughts and ideas and implementing them when possible. As well as this new component feature, we have several useful fixes and improvements. Please see the patch notes below for full details. Features physics sensor has been added. The physics sensor component combines functionality of several other sensors in a convenient single block. The sensor outputs position, rotation, linear, and angular speeds over 14 composite channels detailed in the component. That's awesome. That makes it so that you don't have to have 10 different blocks to do this. This is really good for small builds. Wheel secondary physics issue for clients. Seafloor generation issue. That was a big issue. Uh, we couldn't see the seafloor. No longer convert rescued survivors to static NPCs. Instead, update their display name to rescue. AI boats aircraft now track damage and despawn after two minutes if above threshold. That's cool. Return value of get zones, not include zone parent vehicle data. No idea what that is. Added editor arrows for wings. That's interesting. Fixed teleporting under map through very tall terrain. Rotor physics mirroring issues, metal ore foundry mesh issues, gold foundry mesh issues. And that is the change log. See and let's go ahead and take a look at the physics sensor here. So this is the new physics sensor. And so as you can see, it has arrows pointing uh, forward, up, and left. If we go ahead and we go to logic composite, uh, if you highlight the composite output, you'll notice outputs X position, Y position, Z position, uh, Euler rotation, X, Y, Z, linear velocity, X, Y, and Z, angular velocity, X, Y, and Z, absolute linear velocity, and absolute angular velocity to the respective order composite channels. These are some of the blocks that it replaces. I may not be 100% correct with this yet. I haven't done much testing, but if we look there, we it shows us our X position, our Y position. Well, if we go ahead and we look at our GPS here, our GPS will output our X and our Y um, position if we're using them on our vehicle so that takes care of a gps we also have the ability here to let me just keep looking at this here um, we have things like angular velocity linear velocity so right here i have all my linear velocities i'm not sure yet if you can convert this to like this is uh, vertical horizontal you have um, absolute and directional linear velocity i'm not sure if that covers it yet but it will take care of a linear um a linear speed sensor. This is angular velocity, angular speed sensor here. That also is taken care of with this new block. Um, if we look there, it, I believe this does tilt as well. Um, you can do that with rotation of the uh, Eula rotation. So this is very um, helpful for things like PFDs, autopilots, You'll notice you often need angular rotation for your yaw axis, and then you'll turn this on its side for your pitch axis. This block is essentially doing what this or more blocks will do. Uh, one of the great benefits with this is it allows us to cut down the number of blocks and connections we need. Um, you know, one of the huge things we have an issue with is the microcontroller size. So if you notice, if I needed all of these blocks or probably more in order to run an autopilot, a PFD, I often use Sky's PFD, and it requires all this information for your pitch and pitch roll, for your angular velocity, all of, all of that. You need to have nodes on all your microcontrollers for these to read them in. Well, no longer. What we need is one composite. So this will really help shrink down microcontrollers. This will help shrink down the size of your build. You can take all of these items, which you might be struggling to plug in and find space for in your build and you'll have one block. Let's just quickly look, see if it needs electricity. It does. So this will need electricity, so make sure you're plugging it in. But as you can see, we'll go through all the different uh, connections here. As you see, it has a composite node and an electrical node, and that will allow you to plug this one block in and do the job of many, many blocks. Again, if you're confused on what um, each one's going to read, you see you can uh, highlight the composite node, and it will tell you. Thanks for watching.